He's smart, tall, and funny, and he steals my french fries at dinner table. Let's see that picture. Beautiful. It's just beautiful. I am glad that he is my brother. Well, I just bought summer. That's all I had. So thanks. <laughs>
until I was in high school, um, I was going through a really, really rough time. Um, and I'll never forget, I was leaving the school parking lot on one afternoon when the phone rang and there was Jake calling me. Uh, admittedly, I thought to myself, what the heck, you know, what the heck does he want? Uh, and I, I picked up and he genu genuinely and sincerely asked, you know, how are you doing? Um, kind of guarded, I just said the usual, you know, I'm doing all right. Uh, and I just remember so clearly that Jake was so genuine and caring. And he, <laughs> he opened up his big heart and just said, you know, if you ever need anything or you need to talk about anything, I'm here for you. Jake, at that moment, you really changed my life. You changed our relationship. You changed our relationship, and uh, I just wanted to let you know how big of an impact that had uh, in that moment. And our relationship developed into a stronger friendship. Uh, and we became a lot closer. We got to hang out more and more, and um, he pr we probably equally influenced uh, our love, our, each other's love for screwball comedies like Dumb and Dumber, Hot Rod, Semi Pro, Borat, Observing Report, Role Models. I could keep going on and on, but um, I always looked up to Jake. Uh, you know, I consistently brag about how he worked at the XL and worked at the US Bank with the Saints. Uh, I spent my whole childhood copying you, you know. If you wanted to play percussion, I played percussion. <laughs> if you wanted to play hockey, I wanted to play hockey. Um, you went to St. Cloud State, I eventually went to St. Cloud State. <laughs> there, there is one thing uh, where you copied me. You also married a beautiful, strong, sassy blonde. <laughs> Which brings me to Megan. <laughs> Megan has always been a self-proclaimed troublemaker since the beginning. The first time we met Megan was at my brother's old apartment where we were meeting a group to head to a Kenny Chesney concert at Target Field. Go Kenny. Uh, a few minutes before Megan showed up, my brother mentioned that there was this girl. He pulled me to the side and mentioned there was this girl that was going to be joining us. I didn't think anything of it. I shrugged it off. Uh, but I could tell that Jake was nervous. Uh, but Megan fit right in. My wife and I were 18 or 19 at the time uh, and dating, and, and we got to know Megan very quickly. We were almost continuously fed beers by Megan and Jake, but mostly Megan, all night long. <laughs> Jake, Jake just acted differently around her in the best way possible. He was happy and carefree. And it was a great night, one that I'll, I'll definitely never forget. Um, and we found out that Megan just loves to be the life of the party. The, <laughs> the other thing that Megan and I instantly connected on was our shared St. Patrick's Day birthday weekends. <laughs> Tom and Dean's here. Um, if, you haven't had, if you haven't had the pleasure of joining us at any of these parties, uh, let me tell you how the typical night went. <laughs> It would start with some sort of pre-planned surprise that would inevitably get ruined one way or another. And it only happened like twice. Um, the group would party hard at one of the common rooms at Blue, I mean Blue Apartments. <laughs> That's an inside joke. So you're it again. Jake once ordered a, a single personal pizza for the whole group. <laughs> he, he totally insisted that it was a way better deal that he was going to get. <laughs> After midnight, you know, close to bar close, whatever, everybody was at home. Everybody but Jake. <laughs> Jake must be like part werewolf or something because he thrives between the hours of 12 to 3 a.m. Wow. Uh, he always finds his way home, one way or another. Megan, I don't know how you put up with it, but it continues to amaze me. Yeah, that's one way. Uh, I did. I did get the opportunity to spend some nights with Jake and Megan at their apartment uh, when I first started working in the cities. 
And it was great to see their typical nighttime routine and see their regular interactions um, just on an average night. I also found out that they share, you know, mutual love for all things reality TV. <laughs> to see and to see the patience, <laughs> to see the patience that is required to live with my brother, uh, Megan. Bless you. You must be an angel or something. Um, all jokes aside, I see how happy you make my brother Megan. As I mentioned, I love. I see the love that you two share, and I'm so happy that. We are all here to celebrate the two of you. Nobody can love my brother the way that you do, so thank you for doing so. Thank you for being an amazing big sister to me, an amazing aunt, a wonderful aunt to Miles and all of your nieces and nephews, and officially welcome to the Camden family. Yeah. Yeah. that I made anything up. Um, but I wanted to give you guys something sincere to hold on to. Uh, Maggie and I gifted you with a marriage journal by Audrey and Jeremy Roloff. And this week as I was wrapping up the details of this speech, there's a passage about the importance of humility and I just had it on my heart to share it with you guys. Um, the dangers of pridefulness and humility and um, this just said it better than any way that I could have. So Proverbs 22, four says, by humility and the fear of the Lord, our riches and honor in life. Humility is breaking is the breaking down of pride. Humility is the opposite of boastfulness, aggressiveness, and arrogance. Rather than me first, humility always says, always, uh, humility allows us to say, no, you first. Acting in humility says that you value and put others, specifically your spouse, above yourself. C.S. Lewis says that true humility is not thinking less of yourself, but, le but yourself less. There's no better advice that I can give to you uh, about the keys to a healthy marriage. And I pray for years of humility and patience, happiness, and enduring love for the two of you as you start your new journey. And Megan and Jake, if I could write a new page for this book, it would read something like, Jake married a magnificent woman and her name was Megan. Pretty amazing.